everybody. Today's reading is Big Bad 16 from The Skull Talks Back and Other Haunting Tales by Zora Neale Hurston. Years ago, there was a man who wore size 16 shoes. He was so big, fast, and strong. They called him Big 16. One morning, Big 16 said, I think I'll go down to the pasture and catch me a wild hog. You're strong, but a wild hog's stronger than any man I know, said one of his friends. Big 16 ran that hog down until he caught him. Didn't think you could do it, said one of his friends. You just got lucky. To prove it, wasn't just luck. Big 16 thought he tried something else to test his strength. So, the next morning, he wanted to put some new blocks under his house to keep it from falling down. Since there were some huge 12 by 12s in a cow lot, he thought he'd go down and see if he could pick them up. His friend said, you need some help. You can't lift 12 by 12s all by yourself. They're too heavy. But 16 went on anyway and picked up a 12 by 12 on his shoulder, like it was a piece of straw. He brought more 12 by 12s on back and used them to shore up the building. The next morning, he decided to test his strength again. He said, I believe I'll go catch all the chickens in the farmyard. All the chickens? You can't. That's too many, his friend said. Well, Big 16 caught all the chickens roosting in the yard and the trying to get away chickens that flapped up and hid in the trees. How many? 2,000. His friend said, Big 16, you're so strong and quick. I believe you can catch the devil. Big 16 said, yeah, I can't catch him. Next morning, he thought about how he'd go to catch the devil. He said, all right, I need a shovel and a big 10 pound sledgehammer. Big 16 got the shovel and the hammer and walked out about 200 yards in front of the house and commenced digging in the dirt, digging this hole. Finally, he came to the devil's house and knocked on the door. The devil's wife asked, who is it? He said, Big 16, what you want? Is Jack the devil here, he asked. Yes. Tell him I want to see him. The devil cracked the door open and peeked out. Big 16 tapped him in the forehead with the hammer and killed him. Then he ran and grabbed him up and carried him across his huge shoulder and back up to show off to his buddies. His buddies told him, we don't want that ugly thing. Take him back. Big 16 drug the devil back and threw him in the same hole he dug, covered him with dirt and buried him. About two weeks later, Big 16 died, and he went to hell. The devil's children saw him coming, and they took off running and hiding. The devil's wife saw him coming so straight, till she slammed the door so hard, she scared herself. Big 16 walked up and knocked on the door, and she asked, Who is it? Big 16, he said, Go away. Go back. We don't want you down here. You're too bad. Big 16 turned and went away. He marched on up to heaven. When he got to heaven, he knocked on the pearly gates. They asked, who is it? Big 16, he said. They said, go on away from here. We don't want you here. You're too bad. Well, there was no place else for Big 16 to go. So he had to come back down to earth. When he started falling back to earth, his soul changed into a ball of fire. Even today, you can see him wandering around on the earth. We call him Jack O'Lantern, but it's nobody but Big 16. And that was Big Bad 16 from The Skull Talks Back and Other Haunting Tales by Zora Neale Hurston.